Uh, I just want to be sure it's put the right way. Yeah. Good morning. From here, the city of Tel Aviv. What what comes to your mind? What comes to your mind when you hear Jerusalem? What comes to your mind when you hear Israel? What comes to your mind when you hear Holy Land? When you hear Israel, probably some of you, what will come up, come from your mind is the Holy Land, the land of God, the land of Jesus Christ, the land of Jew, as the case may be. Some of you, when you hear Israel, what comes to your mind is Oh, the war zone. What comes to your mind is the war zone, right? When you hear Israel, what comes to your mind is the bombing, etc. And some of you, when you hear Israel, Holy Land, Jerusalem, what comes to your mind is, oh, the heaven on earth, right? I've had somebody call me from different parts of the world and say, hey, I don't think there's coronavirus in Israel. It shouldn't be, because Israel is the land of God. <laughs> and I, I laughed. Anyway, that is not why I'm here. You know what? At the same time, I'm taking you guys to the old city of Jerusalem this morning. I hope, I hope I'm going to find a taxi to take me to Jerusalem. It's going to cost me a lot, but I just want to go to the old city and shoot the how quiet and the ghost city. How does the old city look like? Because Israel is the most traveled country in the world where people come to see the Holy Land, go to the biblical sites. But I just, I just want to quickly check one or two places and shoot a video for 10 minutes and come back to Tel Aviv. I'll see you when I get there. If this is your prop, if this is if this probably is your first time of coming to this, please share with your friends and um, please subscribe. Press the icon button and make sure you drop a comment. See you when I get to Jerusalem. I love you. As you can see behind me, everybody's nose cover. <laughs> I don't even know how to use this because I'm used to some kind of. I don't think I'm gonna make it to Jerusalem because I can see, but let's give it a try. I'm not sure I'm gonna make it to Jerusalem. I'm not sure. I'm probably not sure. Look how empty is the taxi rank is. It's empty. So not sure, I'm not 100 percent sure, but let's give it a try. Maybe. Maybe not. Wow guys. Um I can't find the taxi to Jerusalem. I'm sorry. You see, the taxi rank is empty. And uh, probably I'm gonna post, still post this video on my channel for those, for you guys to realize that I'm trying to make effort and bring a com uh, content. I'm trying as much as possible to bring a content to the channel that uh, will suit the people. But um, if I don't, by next Sunday, I will go to Jerusalem, uh, old city of Jerusalem, to the biblical sites. I'm not going to go in because it's all locked. I'm going to show you the old city of Jerusalem as a whole. Like I walk on Jerusalem, show you Damascus Gate, show you the, um, the bed, uh, the entrance to the bed um, to the where Jesus was uh, uh, you know, buried, and uh, some other places that uh, I will be able to touch along the road then i will come back so stay tuned probably i'm going back home now and i'm going to post this video please subscribe and see you next week god bless you <laughs> i'm back again so let me end this video by saying what are the effects of trauma i mean what are going to what is going to be the effect of this pandemic after it may have gone.
the trauma that the people will have, the people that have lost their loved ones, that they haven't got the chance of saying goodbye to their loved one who was affected by or by killed by this same pandemic coronavirus. That is the trauma and that is the effect of this. We are not even talking about the states and the federal governments of Europe, America, Africa. It's going to be affected a lot. The economy. In fact, let me tell you on my own theory by the count of people that died in America, it may take America years to come back out of this trauma. Mark my words, because I watch on CNN how people are packed inside the bus freezer to go and bury it as masses. And I told myself, is this for real? Is this pandemic for real? In Europe, people are also buried in masses. They are buried like chickens who die by flu. Don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying they, they, don't, they don't give them their last respect. But when things like this happen, they have to bury them in an emergency so that they will be buried down below so that other people will not get affected. That is the reason their families cannot even get to see them. Their family don't even have the chances of getting to see their, their loved one before they get buried. The trauma of a child whose mother died of pandemic and never get to know where the mother is buried. A, a, a brother who never got to know where his brother, sister, mother, uncle, niece are buried because of this pandemic, the trauma. Um, are we going to talk about the economic breakdown? Some people are at the peak of picking up and becoming a billionaire or millionaire or thousandaire. And along the line, everything is broken down, the trauma. Some people are about to get married. They prepare the money to get married and etc. And along the line, they couldn't get married anymore, especially if they never get to get married on time or never again, the trauma. A lot of people are on their peak of getting a new job. They got a new job and um, about to start the new job. Probably some people may have started one month, two months, and all of a sudden, this coronavirus pandemic, the trauma alone, and probably that job, he had lost it forever. The trauma, my brothers and sisters. Are we talking about somebody right now who is having a baby somewhere in, somewhere, somewhere in the world, and this, everything come to stand still, and there's no baby make to feed that child? The trauma. Are we talking about that lady who is so much in love with his husband or his fiance, and all of a sudden he died of coronavirus, the trauma? Are we talking about that uncle, brother, that he is the giant of the family? I mean, you know, sometimes in the family there's somebody who owns a lot, who God has blessed, is the one who is extending to the other of the families. And he died of coronavirus. And those families are left with nothing, nobody to feed them. The trauma, I say, my brothers and sisters. I can go on and on and tell you about the trauma of, and or the effect of this coronavirus after this pandemic. I, I'm going to cross this traffic without warning. <laughs> So, I can go on and on and tell you guys, and let me tell you, there's something I want to say before I stop this video. Um, Brigitte, the wife of Brigitte said that African people will made, African people, how did he put it, that African may, may, will die on the streets or something like that. And some African begin to get angry, etc. Hey, he wants us to die. You see, many Africans don't see what you guys see in Europe. Many Africans in Africa, they don't see what you guys see in New York there. 
how many people dies every day. They don't know, they don't have electricity to watch. They don't even have money to go to YouTube to see what exactly what is happening. They are government, there's no data. In fact, the data is more expensive than a middle man, a middle class in Africa. Most middle class cannot afford to stay in on YouTube for 10 minutes. They don't see what is happening. And I'll tell you this, in Africa right now, as you're watching, they've started to steal for hunger because the government don't care. Why am I saying this? I'm saying this because African people refuse to um, understand the truth. When Brigade Wife says Africa may die more than in Europe or America, if Africa is not, um, if, if care is not taken, there's noise there. I think they're a construction company. Let me follow this way. She, what she says is true. If Africa is not careful, bad hospital, roads, electricity, water, and you tell me if this pandemic goes to Africa right now, as in Europe or America, God forbid, people would die like chicken. So God forbid. So Africa, take note as I end this video. Thank you for watching. If this is your first time, please subscribe to my channel. Um, probably on Sunday, Monday, I may be in Jerusalem to show you how silence is the city or can I put it the holy land that you say. Thank you. God bless you. Keep watching my channel. God bless you. I feel like not ending this video. Please, I need subscribers so that I can do more. God bless you.